Ooh. Hello? Hi. Hi. Matt. Hi, it's Sue and Tim. Oh. <laughs> it's the Mind Reels. Hey, guys. What's going on? You guys on? are the Mind Reels. <laughs> the Mind Reels. You know, it reels. It works on a couple of <laughs> Is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> like that you guys are revolting? Oh. Or is it me? Who's revolting? It, it, no, it's no. early yet. It could be us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's still... How's it going, guys? But it's nice and sunny here, so that's okay. Yeah, we that's took the good. opportunity to come outside to talk to you, because we're like, let's get out of the basement into the sunshine. Nice. You guys are in Toronto, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we were just... we Actually, we were just debating that. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. is he in Ontario? Do we know where he is? Yeah. I'm in New York right now. Oh, dude. Where it's very, very... Hot. <laughs> <All of it. laughs> nice. It was, it was hot here yesterday, but today is cooled off a bit. It's just nice. It, yesterday, it rained here in a way that you can't imagine. Where it's just like the sky sort of exploded. <laughs> You're and looking for the it deep was so here. so hot. It was like the earth was sweating. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> It was disgusting. Maybe it is. I didn't even realize it happened. <laughs> I was inside, and then I went outside, and it was like, everything was wet. Everything was wet. Some of them because they were sweating. Some of them because they got rained on. It was something oh. I couldn't believe. It. <laughs> Anyways. I'm so glad uh, you and the <laughs> <laughs> The weather. That's the, that's the weather update. Nice. Well, let's move to entertainment. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, Traffic. Just to That's catch up our listeners. <laughs> Traffic. <laughs> <laughs> I can pretend I'm in a helicopter. Yeah. There yeah, you are. The, Thank the you. The Les Nessman move. Start pounding your chest. <laughs> totally. Here we go. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you did. This is. Uh, you directed the episode of Real Side with Don McKellar. I did. So, you got to go like a I did. tripping. I did. Dude. That had to be just a hoot and a holler, to put it simply. <laughs> Well, it was. I mean, I love those guys. Those guys, um, <laughs> you know, they're... Don and Bruce McKellar, right? Or Don, Don, Don McKellar, Bruce McKellar, McDonald. Bruce McDonald. Right. Yeah. Who's Scottish. Oh, Canadian. that would have been so awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I love those guys. I always love those guys. And um, they've been a big part of my career, so they very reluctantly... Well... Agreed, and then reluctantly participated in, in <laughs> making the <a little> film. <laughs> Excellent. Now, that episode, that's number five or number six? I don't remember. Five. Five. So five. Not that's... good enough to start the series. Mm-hmm. Not good enough to end it. Just <laughs> right there in the middle. <laughs> Just to keep people watching. Yeah, maybe that's it. There you I go. Know. I think it sounds strong enough to, to have ended the series, but, you know. But yeah, Don McKellar, man. And I believe McKellar we heard it was the most hilarious yes. of the entire series. That is true. Well, it's definitely the weirdest and the only one about hunting. <laughs> <laughs> Which none of us had ever done before. That's amazing. <laughs> so what, whose idea was this? My stupid idea. <laughs> I, I, I had, um, so I had edited uh, a similar series for the producers of, of this show uh, years back, and we always kept in touch because, as everyone will tell you, they're lovely, lovely guys. And um, so when they got this new, this this series going, they called me up and asked if I'd be interested in editing it. And um, I knew, and I'm sure they did somewhere too, but I knew that it wasn't going to be a straight shot. I think this took three years to get this whole thing <laughs> wow. oh, man. done. Uh, the previous one took about two, and because it's, you know you can't you can't just shoot documentaries and expect them to be finished. It takes time, and um, and so I said, yeah, I'll edit. I ended up edited the pilot, and, or the, or the first the first one, Sarah Gadden's episode. Yeah. Um, and so I edited that one, and I asked if I could direct one because I had co-directed for them before with, with Bruce McDonald. Bruce directed a bunch of the other series that I'm talking about, nice. and uh, and they said, "Sure, yeah, you could, you could maybe next season." <laughs> and, and I said, and 
and they said, "What would you do? What would you do? Like, what would what would be you know your your idea?" And I was like, I, mean, I was just like standing and looking out the window, we're not thinking about it. Like, well, I don't know. Maybe I could do do something like uh, you know, hunting with Don, because I always loved the, there's this old TV show, Fishing with John, um, and I, I loved that, and I kind of was just joking, uh, and then. I guess Raj, the producer, ended up pitching it to the broadcaster, and they ended up green lighting it on the spot. I guess because it sounded impossible, and uh, and then I had to ask Don if he would do it. And <laughs> Listen, a year, I, I got you into something. Uh. <laughs> no kidding. It's like, anyways, a, a year, a year, and a little bit later, I ended up finally coercing them to go on the trip. Um, and uh, and the episode is, is the result of that coercion. <laughs> Did it end any friendships? <laughs> no, no. I, it, I think that it ended any inkling that I might want to take up hunting, which I don't want to. Do. I don't, I've never... I killed a frog. I shot a frog once, and I felt bad about it for a week. So I, I don't know why I decided that I thought I could go bear hunting. <laughs> oh, man. But... I did. I thought it would be funny. And then it turned out to not be bear hunting season, so it wasn't really a problem. (laughs) (laughs) Perfect timing. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) If I had known, it it would have been a genius sort of tactic, but I didn't know it was stupidity (laughs) on my part. But it just works. That just totally works for the feel of the episode, I think. Yeah. (laughs) It's certainly part of it. <laughs> Everyone avoiding participating and then just going on vacation together. <laughs> now, was there anything that you didn't want to lose but ended up on the cutting room floor because of time constraints? Oh, so so much. I have I have hours worth of those guys uh, telling stories about their career. I mean, the the real reason that I wanted to do it was. Um, that I I have a real affection for those two guys and their careers and you know last night and and Highway 61 and Roadkill are films that meant so and Hardcore Logo like those are the movies that I saw on like on TV growing up like on the movie channels yeah. growing up and those are the first Canadian films I ever knew about you know uh, that and Cronenberg movies and yeah. and so you know I have such fond, fond memories of, of watching those movies. And uh, and then when I moved to Toronto from Winnipeg, I I have, I got so lucky that I ended up working with them and, and building a career with those guys and being a part of, of, of their body of work. So when, when it came time, you know, to, you know, when I had an opportunity and they're like, do you want to, do you want to, do a thing about a Canadian filmmaker, I was like, well, those guys, mm-hmm. first of all, their relationship is amazing. Like, the, all the work they've done together and, and how it is to actually work with them is so special. So I thought I would love to actually, like, you know, share what I know about their career, which yeah. is just how collaborative and how, how cool and interesting they are together. So that's why I ended up doing it. And, and in that, I kind of got all the all the stories that I kind of knew, you know, like I kind of knew a lot just from like hanging out and drinking with them. And, and so now when I, when I got a chance to actually trap them in a moving vehicle (laughs) and put put cameras on them, I thought, okay, well, you know, I'm going to get those stories. I don't know how much of it's true. I have have no (laughs) idea. Uh, You know, I think part of the, Part of the narrative is the fiction, and, and I, it is all true. <laughs> Since they said it, it's true, and it's on TV, so it's real. But, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I think that, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I want to do something with the rest of the oh, footage absolutely. because I have, uh, you know, there's an amazing, amazing story of Bruce. Bruce had a, tra- a grant to research Highway 61. Wow. Really? And there's this incredible story of him taking a train to Memphis and ending up uh, on the set of Jim Jarmusch's Mystery 
Mystery Train hanging out with Jarmish <laughs> and um, and Joe Strummer from The Clash and all oh my and God. that. That's really good. Um, it's uh, it, it, that kind of stuff, you know, is is a really it, it's rich material. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's like another episode's worth. At not least. even like extras yeah. on a DVD. That's like a feature. Yeah, well, I'm trying, I'm trying to, I'm trying, you know, I don't want to start announcing things, uh, <laughs> but I, I, do, I, I want to do something with it because I have so much, and, you know, their, their career together, it spans a lot of years, and, and Don's kind of, Don's kind of life was, uh, it, it's really interesting, you know, neither of those guys wanted to be filmmakers, <laughs> like, I mean, they, <laughs> Don was in the theater and Bruce was I don't know what Bruce was doing but Bruce Bruce was, was an editor to begin with I think that's why he kind of uh, has been so supportive of me and was so supportive of me doing this is that he started out by editing Adam McGoyan's movies right. and then yeah. and, and then ended up in the, directing it so I think when I said I wanted to try to direct something you know both of them were real supportive of me doing that that's very cool so, so have you still been bitten by the bug do you still want to direct more I mean, everyone wants to be a director. I don't know. I mean, uh, it's different making a film like this or, yeah. or a TV show. I mean, it, they feel like little films, but, uh, they, oh, there's the police. Yeah. I was going to say, uh, it must be New York. Man, there are cops. I think someone important was in town. I was driving, I was walking down the street the other day and like 60 cop cars with their lights on took over oh, Sixth yeah. Avenue. <laughs> um, more important than the normal people who are in New York. <laughs> They're all criminals. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I love I, it's making documentaries is fun. I've made a few little things, and I love documentaries. I, I I think it's funny. I think editors are good documentary filmmakers because the nature of like hunting, hunting and gathering mm-hmm. stories, uh, it's it it's it's sort of more natural to go out with. Um, with a camera and just collect footage and then edit it, which is definitely what I did on this. I didn't, I didn't have a huge plan when I went out. I just sort of trusted that something would happen. And then, of course, I got bamboozled, and those guys just took over the directing, anyways. So that would be awesome. Um, yeah. What's that? I said that's just awesome. Yeah, getting bamboozled is always fun. <laughs> <laughs> it turned out for the best. I don't know. It was fun. You know, I, I went. I went out with a lot of my friends and an RV, and I thought, definitely there's a story out there. I don't know if that's technically directing. The editing <laughs> process was really fun, um, and, and you know, uh, I, I would love to keep doing things like this. I, I don't know if the series is happening again, but it's, it's certainly a fun way to make a little, a little show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, Totally. Yeah, we were saying when we talked to Raj that we were sorry we hadn't heard of it before because it was right up our alley. And then we talked about how hard it is to get access to right now, but that that'll be opening up soon. Yes. Uh, Oh, your ability to see it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, I mean, it's, I guess, where, I mean, no one, do people have TMN? I guess some people have it. Some people do. Yeah, it's like, it's a subscription though, so... Or though I think that you said you can get it on demand right now yes. as well. Yes, you can. But uh, did they give? It, did they hand it all over to you guys? Yeah. Yeah, they did. <laughs> there you go. So, so you should provide it for the people. Robin Hood. Yes, yes, yes. Illegal downloading and stuff. Because <laughs> we want to burn that bridge. <laughs> hey Amen. Bridges are meant to be burned. <laughs> but before we go, I did want to mention just really quick, and I know you probably can't talk a lot about it. You uh, edited four episodes of The Expanse. Yeah, man. Oh, man, I love uh, those books. I've read every single one so far. Oh, see, people say that, and it gets me so excited. <laughs> uh, it, it, uh, I, was, I was late because I was talking to the, to the showrunner because <laughs> um, we, I just sort of finished my fourth episode, oh. and... Uh, we're premiering at Comic Con on Saturday. I, think. I hate oh, you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, get ready. I think it's not on TV until December, though. I think yeah. so. Yeah, I think they pushed it right back. Yeah. It, it's a lot of spaceships. Uh, it was. It, it's. T- it's taking a long time to to do all the effects, oh, and yeah. it looks amazing. It's. Uh, 
uh, it's really cool. I think uh, I think it's something special. I mean, I hope I hope the, it's a huge fan base, which is crazy. I didn't realize how big a fan base yeah. there is. Um, but the show the show is awesome. It's a massive show. Uh, so I'm excited. I'm excited for fans like yourself to get to finally see it. Excellent. Yeah, I'm, I was giddy. <laughs> it'll come out. It'll be pre- premiering around the same time as that little Star Wars film that's yeah, coming out. Yeah. <laughs> Convenient. <laughs> <laughs> Although it's more, it's more Star Trek than Star yeah, Wars. Yeah, it's, like it's not. You know, actually, I don't know if that's true. It, it kind Star of Star Wars was like a detective thing, sort well, of. Yeah, the way I, the way I read it, kind of comes across as like a detective thing with Firefly and Battlestar Galactica all kind of mixed in. As yeah, you, we're definitely all Battlestar oh, fans. So it's, good. It's cool, man. I mean, I, I hope I hope everyone likes it. It's it's really interesting. The actors are great. The effects are great. The story is obviously great because people love that book. Mm-hmm. Excellent. But to bring it back <laughs> around to Don and Bruce, <laughs> um, you we're not in the expense. No, we're not <laughs> yet. Yet. They, there's well, it's always second book, right? <laughs> yeah, right. exactly. But uh, your episode has has I think aired. I think it aired last week. Yeah, it was on July 2nd. Yes. And that was on the Movie Network, but it still has to premiere out west, I think, is what it is. Yeah, I think it's gonna. It's got its second window out west, and then and then I guess it'll be everywhere. But I think that they're kind of running them semi-regularly on the yes. Movie Network. I'm not sure how, how it works. But, but it's awesome. And yeah. so, so hopefully we can see more episodes from you next season, then. <laughs> it would be great. My pleasure. You make the call. All right, I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, that was great. Thanks, Thank you. guys. All right. Take care. Bye. Bye. <laughs>